Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Sambhu from Cloud Tech. Today I am going to show you like if you would like to replace your root volume of a particular issue to instance or app server or API server close to zero downtime, how we can do that part I am going to show you guys. Okay. So there are two ways we can uh, explore today. One is like if you would like to replace the root volume by using snapshot, how we can do that or if you would like to replace the root volume by using AMI that also how we can do we are, we, I am going to show you okay guys so for that what we need to do suppose we, we need to launch instance so I have already instance which is running state so let me show you that and this is the instance I have running state and IP address this one and which I have already connected here and for this particular instance what we are going to do we are going to create one AMI image okay so let us create one image here before that let me show you that this instance let me connect and show you that here what we have docker ps so i have already connected by using mobile extreme here so nothing is running okay so docker images here couple of images i have okay guys so this part keep in mind here i couple of images i have and this is the place i am going to what we have in this instance basically it is running one static web application Okay guys, so let me show you that. So let's go to the instance here. Let's come here, instance, and then just hit this thing. It's running one web application. Okay, so this is the web application. I will do watch here, keep watching so that we can get to know like downtime is there or not. Okay, so curl and then so now it is running. Okay. And here I am going to ping that application server. Okay, so let us take this IP address. So this is the IP address. Keep in mind this IP address. We need to note it down. After replacing the root volume, this also remains same. It should not change. So for that only, I am going to ping here. Okay, and this is the public IP I have, uh, DNS I hit here, and this is my. These are the images is there. Okay, so let us do one by one. So go to the images and action. We have to create a AMI here. So let us see that AMI. No AMI we have here. Okay, correctly. Now let's create the AMI here. Image and create AMI. Let's give the name of that AMI Cloud Tech. Something like that. Any name you can give. And then now our AMI creation is in progress. So you can check this. So it is in progress here pending state okay it will be in a available state okay it will come and one more thing we need to do we need to create a snapshot okay so how we can do so let's go to the storage here and this is my storage here basically so let us go to the storage basically if this is the volume two instance we have two volume and df is the one which we are using currently okay so let us take this snapshot for this particular volume okay so let's go here and action the volume and let's take this one and go to the snapshot create snapshot okay take snapshot something like that and let us create the snapshot now our snapshot also ready both the thing we have created so let's go to the snapshot here again so snapshot also it is in pending state and let's go to the AMI also. This is also pending state. It will take some time so that it will come up. So don't worry that. Now meantime what we are going to do. Basically the use case of this particular uh, what I can say this uh, replace the root volume right. Suppose uh, by mistake uh, due to some XYZ reason. From the app server or API server or from your EC2 instance, something is deleted and that is very very important to you. Without that, maybe your application goes down or something happened, right? In general, we used to take the snapshot of every, uh, like uh, we used to take the snapshot of that particular instance, like every volume, right? Either it's a manually or maybe we are used to take that uh, from that uh, automatic also, okay? But sometimes what happened by mistake if you delete right we need to replace that uh, root volume whatever volume was there right that we need to get it back actually. 
so for that purpose only we need to uh, uh, use this so let us check this ami snapshot is completed and what about ami ami is still pending okay still going on so let's first finish this ami it is st still in state so it is in progress okay Okay, just wait for some time once it will come uh, uh, available state right we can use it then only we'll delete some of the thing from this instance okay so it is in still reading this and this is still pairing here no break product packet drop right here and here also this web server also it is running here so now our AMI is in available, right? We can use it. So this AMI also ready. Okay, guys. So what we are going to do? Let us ping this and watch this call comment, and then we are going to delete that images. Okay, Docker images. images. Uh, RM docker rm then let us delete this image okay deleted docker images now we don't have that image right it is deleted so what we are going to do now so we are going to replace this root volume of that particular instance how we can do that so let's go here and come here that particular instance here and the action and here we have option monitoring and turbine shooting if you go here then replace the root volume and if you click here if you select the snapshot right let's select the snapshot and then whatever snapshot we have created now right so i'll take sp right this is the one we have created now right so let us take this one and Let's go to this uh, meantime. Let's go to the volume. This volume. So we have two volume here and DFF last three digit it is using for this instance. If you go here, that means and storage DDF, right? This is the one it is using. So if you come here. So let us replace this and delete once it is replaced, just delete. Okay. And then click this. Now it is replacing progress. And if you just hit this thing, or maybe we can check here also. Very minimal downtime. So if you see here, fail to connect. Okay. But here no packet drop actually. Ping is still going on. But here very minimal downtime and here also very minimal. I would not say like exact zero downtime, but here yeah, compared to attach, detach, stop the instance, compared to that, this is very straightforward and it will be very less minimal effort and minimal zero downtime, we can say. Close to zero, one way we can say, okay. So let's just wait here and Let's see that volume part here. So let's come here. So one volume. So you see the DDFF is gone. And if you come to the instance also, let us come instance and go to the storage. Now, just a refresh. Storage. Now this is coming to available state, right? So this is how from the snapshot we can revert back. And if you go here, uh, like uh, let's connect again this instance. If you see right now it is back, watch also back. And if you check the docker images, now that image is back here. See this image is back, it was not there. We have just deleted now it is back we can get it back right now from ami how we can do so let me show you that too also so now here it is running ping 
But if you see ping is there is no packet drop continuously if you see right no packet drop actually it's a zero like close to zero downtime okay but yeah there is a minimal downtime is there I, I will not say like exactly zero downtime okay now what we will do from AMI how we will do right so docker rm then delete this image again uh, the image is deleted this is the EBS volume we are using for this current uh, our app server so let's give the name so that we came to know like while we are uh, replacing the volume right if it is really deleting or not by clicking on that checkbox right so that part we are going to show you here okay guys so i am giving the name of this particular EBS volume okay so let us check this uh, now a docker images which all image we have okay now that image is not there okay so what we are going to do now now go to the stance and go to the storage here also we have one option a replace root volume if you go to the storage from the storage we have a replace root volume and select the image here and then we can give the image id ami id and then we can select the delete and then create replacement tasks then it will replace that volume okay so now it is in progress and if you go to the volume now so let us see so one more volume came here okay and this volume will be delete in some time okay and go to the instance here again so it is in again some downtime failed to connect right very minimal downtime but ping see still pinging that instance instance is not stop okay but yeah there is a downtime so failed and now let's go to the instance again so as you press so that one volume is gone whatever uh, volume was there right that is gone and if you go to the instance also just repress this and if you come here now also this is what so got changed right and if you see that ip is remain same why because the ping is not get changed right ping is still going on that same ip right and here also it will come and let us try this again this wave one also see wave one also will be there see as it is okay and let us check this yes. Now that image is came here, right? Whatever image we have, the cloud tag is here, right? We have deleted here, right? Cloud tag is here. Now that image is back, and even that watch also is coming back. It is able to connect. Okay, guys. So this is how we can replace the root volume by using this AWS Nice features, which is provided by AWS. And there are two different way I have already demonstrated, like by using AMI or snapshot, how we can do. So I hope this session will helpful to you guys. And if you feel this video is valuable to you guys, then I will request you guys, please subscribe my channel and do like this video and share surrounding with your friend. That will really inspire to me. That will really help to me to create such kind of content. Okay, guys, we'll see you in my next video. Chalo. Bye.